hey guys welcome back to my channel this is chanel lv and i am back today to share these two items i got during my son's fall break i know right when we go on vacation how can we avoid a little shopping without further ado let me share these two pieces let's do the big box first it's from louis vuitton As you all know, I have four sons, so I tend to buy things from men's collection. I do a double purpose. I can use it and they can also use this. So I have this sticker here and you can see the style code and the price. That's right. It's a small bag as usual. Ta -da! It's the Alpha Wearable Wallet, new model in Damier Graphite Coated Canvas. Look at that. This will be my first Damier Graphite handbag. It doesn't come in women's and I'm always so drawn and attracted to this print or design. It's adorable, isn't it? I just love the size. I couldn't resist this. I have been buying the phone box, which is this one, and the double phone pouch, the Trio Messenger. But this is so cute. It also comes in this color with blue. It's obviously a compact bag that looks like a wallet. Like how they name it, wearable wallet, since it's the size of a wallet. I just like the way they name it, it's wearable wallet. I can already tell how can this be very versatile with so many carry options because of its removable strap as well as a strap options it can be shoulder carry crossbody short shoulder carry maybe a belt bag too and i will show you the mod shots of this after here is the closer look it just says louis vuitton paris on this leather tab Louis Vuitton Paris here, only one. So it's kind of simple and discreet, not screaming Louis Vuitton. I guess that's why it's designed for men's. The length of this bag is 7.3 inches. So if you have a phone that is less than 7.3, it would definitely fit. So I have this smartphone, which is the same size of my iPhone. And this is six inches. So here is how you can tell it would fit. The height is 4.3 inches and the width is 2.6 inches. Pretty generous in my opinion. So here is the side, look at that silver color hardware so shiny they always use a high quality metal and here is the d-ring for the strap there it is with louis vuitton signature here and the back and again one louis vuitton paris here on this checkered design in black and dark gray color the other side here's the d-ring again the bottom it's boxy and very structured but it's soft and the top
this is better than the double phone pouch that I purchased before, like this one, which is the same size, like 7.5 inches, 4.3 inches in height, and the only difference is the width. The phone pouch is only 1.4 inches, so this is wider. Here is the front zip packet and the back zip packet. It has two zipper closure. Look how shiny. Let's look inside. It zips pretty good and it goes all the way there at the back. So when you open up, it has this gusset to protect your things from falling out. Compared to the phone pouch on this one, it opens up like a book where your things will tend to fall. So this one is secured. It has a textile lining as well as a textile gusset. Notice that the gusset or the flap on the side is not that close to the edges here where sometimes when you zip it up, it will catch. So they were smart designing this like that. So this is how it looks. It has two inside flat pockets, one here, three credit cards here, two compartments, and another three credit card slots there, flat packet right there. You would see made in France below here on the last credit card holder. So this is how it looks inside. And you can put your phone in here. You can put some hand sanitizer in here or perfume roller. So this is like your wallet attached to your front bag. Let's look at the back zipper packet here. And the zipper stops right there compared to this one that goes all the way to the sides. That gives you that open compartment. Here is the back pocket. I forgot there's the strap inside. It's so black. Here is the barcode sticker. Here is the inside. It's hard to see because of the black textile lining. Real quick, we can put my phone inside. I can also put my key clay in here, but I don't have to since I can put all my credit cards inside instead of using this. So, but just to show you, here it is. My bag is full, guys. So, that's how it looks. With my key clay in here. Oh, I have my snacks here. So that. You can put whatever you want on this wearable wallet. So look how wide it expands, guys. By the way, the leather trim of this is in cowhide as well as on the strap. 
Let's talk about this textile strap. It has that big buckle to adjust the length, the snap hook, Louis Vuitton in there. And according to the website, the minimum drop is 15.7 inches and the maximum shoulder drop is 24.8 inches. This has no Louis Vuitton inscription. It's just a plain textile. I wish the textile strap is also inscribed Louis Vuitton in here. But again, it looks simple without it. The thickness of the strap is 1.5 inch. So if you don't want to use this thick strap, you can also use a thinner strap like this. And I happen to have this from my Softlot MM bag in Epi leather in silver hardware. Let's put this on. The only thing I've noticed about this is when you use it with a strap, it has the tendency to fall forward, but when you use it against your body, it stays up. So here it is. What do you guys think of this little bag? Let's move on to my other unboxing. I got this to pair up with this new wearable wallet. It's the Kitley in Damier Graphite as well. So I kind of got this to match. So I'm not going to go into details of this. It also has a silver color hardware that matches this. And I can tell you that this is made in France. Yay! So... Here are my two reveals for you guys that I can use as well as my boys and my husband. That's it for today, guys. Stay tuned for my mod chats and don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye!